Hola, ¿cómo vienen? It's Pablo Vázquez. Pablo, but even I sometimes type my name wrong. And especially in 3D, I do that all the time. I'm a very sloppy typer because some words are weird. Some words, how do you write scattering if you have never spoke the English language before? Or even then, this patch, this feature that I'm going to show you now, it's available in the latest Blender and is going to help you with that. So on my left here, the left side of the screen, I have a Blender 2.90, the release that just came out. And say I want to search for something like a grease pencil, grease, greasy, is it grease pencil, what is it? Is it grease pencil, okay. So let's type this in the new version of Blender, the upcoming one. So grease. It just knows. It's just, just, it's very forgiving. <laughs> Thank you. You can even go as far as do like G pencil and you're gonna find it. So you don't have to be so precise as you used to in the past. And this is amazing because it helps you like even like you can type instead of monkey all like properly monkey typing. You can do M and K and it's just gonna find it. It's brilliant and it's a, uh, there's this tiny one feature that maybe not a lot of people are going to use, but I, if I just, uh, if you just know that it exists, you might start to use it. So what happens when you have a very long phrase? For example, let's do grease pencil um, here. For example, bake mesh to grease pencil. If you had to search for this in the previous system, you will go crazy because it, it's like bake and then you get a few but if you just do like bake or like mesh and then you have to find all the here, maybe it's easier to find. But in the new system, you can just type the first letter of each of the words so, and you can do, for example, B, bake, mesh, grease, pencil. Yeah, it just it just works. It's just crazy. So it's not really crazy, actually, when you put uh, good people to work, like in this case, the one and only Jack Luke made this improvement that it uh, improved the results of search using fuzzy matching and prefix matching. So fuzzy matching is uh, very popular in um, like search engines or in apps and stuff. So when you make mistakes, it tries to find whatever is closer. It's using this, um, this uh, algorithm by these very smart people, the Moro Levenstein distance, uh, you can read more about it, but the um, the algorithm by itself is not uh, enough, like uh, here Jax explains. Um, so he made some tweaks so to make it um, easier to for, for Blender especially to find those, uh, those examples. Right now at the moment it's added to F3, to the add ID data block. So if you have a material with a crazy name, you can find it more easily um, or world or mesh or any ID data block. Uh, enum search operator, for example, search be added via the Python API. So it's it's uh, it's gonna automatically know about the new stuff that gets added in Blender and node name search. So this one is gonna help me with actually finding the scattering. So let's go. So let's switch to the node editor here and uh, let's search for Let's see SSS and there is SSS. Let's search for it, anything principle. So for example, principle PNPCL and it just finds it. So yeah, try to do that here. Let's see. No, it's just no, no, let's not put it to shame. Poor thing P C N and then it's over. Isn't that great? We can make it. Sloppy typers unite now. You don't have to be so perfect. This is going to be added to more sections in Blender. Basically, the way it was um, added, um, Jack said that it can be added to anywhere. Like the outliner, I think, still doesn't have it, but it shouldn't be too hard. It's a per case. Um, feature. So in if you, if you see that it's not working in some cases, maybe you can report it and it will get added. But for the time being, it's added in the most used uh, places like search. Isn't that amazing? This will make day and night a difference because it's not only for one per kind of uh, artist or developer, it's just for everybody. Isn't that great? Quality of life improvements. All right. 
Uh, I hope you like it. I can't live without this. I'm gonna become even more sloppy, like when they, uh, <laughs> when the spell checkers on phones became a thing. All right, enough talking. See you in the next video. Bye, bye.